Okay, this will be a three card you pick. So settle in and let's see how it goes. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So like I said, it's a three card you pick. So consider your questions uh, and uh, let's see if we can get some answers for you today. I like to say this is kind of like looking out the window to see what the weather's like uh, before you go out and uh, you know how to kind of dress. So this way you kind of know how to adjust maybe for your day or it could be this is at the end of your day and this will give you some reflection on why did that happen? So uh, I hope it works for you. Uh, take a deep breath, get you something to uh, sip on while we go through this and uh, we'll get started right after we talk about the cards. Okay, so this is the Essential Tarot book and card set. And it's um, the box got smashed in delivery. And it's a typical little, uh, it's not much to, sp to speak about actually in the box itself. Um, I don't know, I guess it's good enough. Um, it tells you a little bit here that's just pretty boilerplate. And it's published by uh, Peter Pauper Press. So I was, I'll just show you the cards. This, since it got smashed, this doesn't stay up like it should. Uh, inside the box, of course, you get the box of the cards, and you get this little uh, booklet, which tells you, um, you know, how to divide the cards. If you were going to give it as a gift, it's got a nice little place here where you can, you know, address it to and from, and uh, a nice little uh, jacket to keep the book in good condition. And then the book itself is just pretty standard. It has a couple of uh, spreads that you can use for the tarot. There's no special message in here, and it's got very standard divinations. It is a full-color book, and it's easy to read, so that's good. And I think this set is actually geared towards uh, beginners. And so uh, as far as that's concerned, then everything is perfect uh, so far because it's very clear uh, to understand. And, um, and so there you go. Uh, we'll put this back here for a second, and then we'll talk about the cards. So the cards uh, come in, again, just another little uh, cardboard box. Uh, this is uh, Hanson Roberts Tarot deck, so that's who uh, designed it. 78 full color cards complete with 22 major arcana, 56 minor. So, see, and card titles in five languages, uh, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. So that's handy. Um, the box itself is, is not a big deal, actually. I mean, it's just a nice uh, little box. It has a, a hard piece of uh, cardboard to keep everything in line. It's got a couple of introductory cards that um, don't really... I don't know what they serve, to tell you the truth. But um, So I'll put that back. And then the cards. So this was kind of a disappointment. They're, they're, they're beautiful. They're, they're, they're nice looking cards, but they're very... Uh, thin and cheap. They are made out of a kind of a, uh, a coated material. So the one thing I was glad about them is that they actually are very easy to use. They shuffle really nicely and the depictions on them are, are fine. You know, they're actually good, uh, clear, easy to understand depictions. And so I was disappointed with the quality of the cards when I opened up this deck and the, this came damaged and the cards were flimsy and I thought, well, these aren't going to be good. But the secret uh, uh, sauce here is that actually these cards are really, they shuffle really well. They're not hard to use in that respect. They fit easily into your hand if you like kind of a, on the smaller side of a deck. And so, like I always say, I kind of spread them out like this so that you get a chance to see more of the cards than just a few that the uh, the reader will pull when we're doing our, our reading. And uh, so that's uh, the Essential Tarot Book and Card Set. Really, I always think it's for beginners. It's by Hanson Roberts. And um, I think it's fine for the price, uh, about uh, $16 to $18, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so three card you pick all right so take a moment just to focus yourself understand uh, what issues you'd like to talk about and let's see if we can't sync up and get some good answers for you okay these cards are a little small so i'll try to hold them up i'll try to remember to hold them up to the uh, camera here so that you can see them really well but uh, yeah just uh, take a deep breath run it out slowly Really relax. If you need to, stop the tape. 
just to collect your thoughts. I always recommend get a glass of water, which I haven't done. And um, make sure that you're focused on the card or the cards that you choose. Okay? So we're going to take three cards for this you pick. One, two, three. And then there'll be a full uh, diet across for each of these at the end. One, two, and three. So choose your card, one, two, or three. One, two, three. Remember, you can stop the tape if you need to. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we'll do the reveal of each card, and then we'll have a full diet across for further divination uh, after that. So if you chose number one, this is the five of rods. And you can see right here uh, in this card that the five of rods, you know, rods are... Um, uh, plans, uh, actions, uh, motion, fire. Um, and so this five of rods, uh, you can see here that these fellows are just kind of all mixed up and, and in a, involved in a conflict. It's not a deadly conflict, but it's, it's an uncomfortable, um, you know, uh, confusion. So if you chose the five of rods, uh, this is going to be a no card. And uh, let me make a jot that down so I remember. So this is a no card. And uh, so that would be the answer to your question. Now, if you chose number two, okay, this is the two of swords. You know, two of swords of truth, justice, rules, law, making a choice. You have to do one or the other. All right. Um, I'm going to say this is a yes card. Let me jot that down. Because no matter what choice you make, it moves you further along your journey. Okay. We can see in the back of this um, of this uh, background here that there's uh, sort of a uh, tumultuous, tumultuous uh, terrain back there. And uh, so this maiden is getting ready to make a choice. She's blindfolded because it doesn't matter which way she goes, really. It's all going to move her forward, but you just want to make sure that you're choosing what are those four tenets, truth, justice, rules, and law. That should be what guides you in this decision. Okay, so that's a yes card. Now, if you chose number three, then we've got the tower card. This is a big no card. And so the tower card is telling us this is the a, a huge interruption. Everything's going to stop. Don't do this, you know, really take some time to understand that once this decision is made, um, that there will be uh, something different, something new starting after that, um, probably from the rubble of what's left behind here. So this is a no card. Okay, so we'll turn these two back over, put this one down as a signifier for that diet at cross. And um, so that was a no third one and this is a, a no card as well so the five of rods again rods are actions plans uh, fire uh, moving forward but in this case these actions these plans are are you know it's it's criticism it's conflict and uh, so that's how this this starts uh, for this issue that you're dealing with you're starting with some conflict now let's see what we can get in these next five cards to help guide you through this decision. Okay, so this is going to be, okay, these two want to come out. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, we'll put this right here to work on the energy in there. Spread these out so that we can see what is the challenge to this signifier, five of rods, unnecessary conflict. Okay, the challenge to that is the Three of Swords. Remember, swords are truth, rules, uh, justice, law, and uh, and so this is heartbreak, okay? So the challenge to this um, unnecessary conflict is, is just disappointment, okay? So let's try to, whatever this is, if it's going to involve some conflict, understand that disappointment is going to come along with it. The basis of this reading, then, is death. So death isn't death. Death is the end of a cycle. It's a definite stop. Okay. It's it, this is finished and something new will be reborn from that. But this is the end. Okay. So that's how th this is the basis of this reading, understanding that uh, this death card, this number 13 in the major arcana is representing if you no, know, don't do that. This says no, don't do it. Uh, if you do it, there's going to be, you know, some disappointment. 
it's this uh, is underpinned by the end of something, which means there's a beginning for something else. And the past of this reading then is the emperor. This is a terrific card to get in this read in particular. So the emperor is number four of the major arcana. It's a nice solid card. And the emperor is fully in control of his empire. Okay. What the emperor says is going to go. And uh, so we came into this with feeling very empowered or being very empowered even, or someone who's involved in this decision had, was holding all the cards. All right. The sky of this reading, then, is the Ace of Swords. So the Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. This should be the guiding light for how you proceed from this. You can even see the, the light streaming out from, from these clouds here to sort of uh, shine the way. And this is a great, big, huge offer of this truth, this justice, these rules, or this law that should be your guiding light for, for how you um, go forward with this decision. Okay. Uh, the likely outcome of this, then is the hermit. The best thing that you can do, the hermit, number nine in the Major Arcana, he's uh, well into his journey, the fool is, when he meets the hermit, and the hermit sh shows him the wisdom of shining a light on what's in your path, okay? Shining a light on what's in your path. His staff serves as the uh, rod of plans, of movement, of forward action, but notice he's got his staff rested against his shoulder, and he's not in a hurry to make that move forward until he fully understands what's ahead of him. So yeah, this uh, card, if you chose number one, is all about caution, understanding the uh, consequences of what will happen if you don't heed uh, the, uh, the, the issue. Um, understand that this is clearly the beginning of something else, uh, although you may have come into this, or someone who's involved with this came into this with a huge amount of power, making them feel like they can just you know go forward what I say is going to go. Uh, this will be the guiding light, this truth, justice, rules, law, and understanding exactly what's uh, going forward. So, uh, you know, this is a no card for this decision. Okay. So now, I'll put these back into the deck, and we'll look at the second card, if that's the one you chose. Signifier being the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is making a decision, okay? We do know what swords are. I've already said it many times. So we know to let our higher um, uh, instinct, okay, uh, guide us in how this decision is made. So the Two of Swords is a signifier making a choice. You can make any choice, either choice, as long as all the choices that you consider are, um, are led by truth, justice, rules, and law, okay? So now let's spread these out, take five cards to finish this divination. This is one, two, three, four, Right under here, five. Okay, now we're going to take this and put it back over here to work on that energy. And then consider this. So this is the yes card in this group. So whatever this question is, this is encouragement. Uh, the challenge to making this decision, however, is this four of rods. Remember, fours are, rods are planning, uh, actions, uh, motion forward. And this uh, four of rods, uh, I like to say, are smallish celebrations towards something grander. In the bigger scheme of things, so yeah, so this is a, a celebration of moving forward, and um, and so understand that uh, making this decision, you need to understand that um, this this positivity is on the road to something uh, better. Okay, this may not be the end decision. This may just get you on the road towards something better, eventually after uh, celebrating the decision that you make. And the, the base of this reading then is the fool. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about. The fool is just starting his journey, okay? He's at the very beginning. He's um, full of optimism and promise and looking forward to where he's going, although he may not be looking exactly at where he's going. He's just jaunted off on this journey, taking with him what he needs. And uh, so that's the basis of this, is that this is the beginning. This is the beginning of an unknown uh, journey. The past of this reading then is this two of pentacles. Well, the two of pentacles, you know, pentacles are, or I like to say their they're value, their worth. They can be money, but in this case, this two of pentacles represents balancing, uh, you know, that worth that you're dealing with in these questions here. You can see in the back on this ocean of emotion, these two uh, ships back here are going through some turbulence. But uh, that doesn't mean that uh, this choice has to be a difficult choice. It just has to be a balance, an understanding of one value against another one. So we come into this, uh, hopefully understanding 
that about the decision in the sky of this reading then this three of pentacles is wonderful and now the pentacles just like i said this is value this is uh putting something together for public display usually in collaboration with someone else okay someone has come up with a plan someone has come up with uh the idea and then this artisan is executing uh that and wanting of course to make sure that this is perfectly displayed so that others can appreciate it so that's what you want to aim for you want to aim for whatever decision you're going to make here you want it to be beautiful and something you'd be proud of, of people knowing that you you put up and then the likely outcome of this whole thing is the sun so this yes uh, card is just card carried right on through this uh, reading much like in the first reading that no card carried a lot of caution through there this yes card this sun card is just telling us look there's gonna be a lot of sunshine celebration uh, forward movement um, this um, is uh, number 19 of the major arcana so we're just about finished with our journey and everything should be clear here so this is beautiful because we've got here the beginning of journey and here we're near the end of it through the decision that we make okay uh, decisions to be made make sure that your uh, guiding principles are taking you on the high road that understand that this will be a smaller celebration onto something bigger an action that will bring you to something even more fruitful uh, this is the beginning of a journey you may not even understand that uh, you want to balance the value that you're dealing with make sure that you're doing something that you'd be proud for others to know that you've done and in the in the end if you follow those tenets then uh, the sun will shine down and this will have been you know a, a profitable uh, a good decision that's the number two card if that's what you chose okay so now put these back into the pack and finish up with that number three card signifier being the tower card so the tower tells us that this is a stop this is an end it may be abrupt it may uh, but it, it means that something new must happen after this okay so this is a new card and um so understand that that whatever this decision is uh, let's have a lot of caution in that because this is going to cause something else to take place five cards to finish this divination it's one two three four and five cards are finished They've done all they can for us, and we're going to see what is the challenge to this end, this tower card. Okay, strength, of course. Whenever we're dealt a blow, that's when we have to really dig down and find our strength. And know that you do have that strength. It's there. It's natural. It's what uh, uh, causes a, a seed to push its way up out of the ground and move forward. That inner strength that you not, may not even be aware of. So embrace that. Know that you have it. And uh, so whatever uh, this no uh, decision uh, is, uh, it's it's got strength um, opposing it. The the balance of the the base of this reading then is the star. So the star is a beautiful uh, also like the sun. It's it's like a new beginning. It's a light shining down, but it's a subtler version of that. And so we have the star here, wanting all the attention, understanding the passion and the emotion that's just dripping right out of her hands into this ocean of emotion, this river of passion, and uh, and really basking in the glory of the, the well deserved. Um, uh, stardom okay so that's the basis of this reading so we may have come into this feeling you know quite uh, in, um, in, enriched uh, but understand that everything has an end and then we always have the strength to pick what's left pick up what's left and keep going forward in the past of this reading with this two of rods just like I said the rods are are plans motions going forward and the two of rods is short-term plans okay so this is you know making a decision that's going to help us move forward in this journey okay that's perfect with the tower in the sky of this reading then is the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is understanding the value that you have here weighing it out just like this fellow is on this scale and then distributing it as is appropriate to those who are, are really uh, eager to get some of that value okay so in the sky of this reading the six of pentacles understand that uh, the distribution of the knowledge that comes out of this abrupt end is what's most important and then the um, likely outcome of all this oh it's a high priestess it's beautiful so the high priestess even though she's a second uh, uh, person that the fool meets on his journey uh, the fool's journey she's the one who imbibes him with all the knowledge okay all the uh, fortitude of and uh, this also tells us to follow our intuition okay so the, the high priestess will help us turn this no card into a promise okay of something uh, better to come okay so those are the three choices today and I hope 
I hope that that gave you some guidance for the decisions that you asked for. So what do you think? Did that ring true? I hope it did. I hope it was useful for you. And, um, you know, take it uh, with the, the good intention that I put it out there. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now.